Hi there, it's Sam from Design Spark. Today we've got an unboxing for you from On Semiconductor. This is the RSL10 Sensor Development Kit. This product is based upon On Semiconductor's RSL10 Ultra Low Power Bluetooth Low Energy System on Chip. Packaged with sensors from Bosch and EventSense, this platform gives you everything that you need to start understanding how you want to build your next IoT product using Bluetooth Low Energy. Now often it can be a little bit difficult to understand where to start when you're developing your product. This development kit really does give you all the sensors that you might want to use all on one kit so you can start taking some measurements and understanding how you might want to design your product. So in the box you've got the RSL10 development kit itself, an NFC antenna and the CR2032 battery which is used to power it. So let's start by getting the development kit powered up. The development kit is powered by the coin cell battery, which we just need to insert into the coin cell battery holder on the bottom of the development kit. So we just need to take care to get it the right way up. Then we just slide it into the coin cell battery holder on the base of the development kit, and you should see the green light flash to show that it's powered on. We can now insert the NFC antenna, taking care to ensure the on semiconductor logo is facing up. Now the next step is to get the device connected to the mobile app. Reset the device and open the RSL10 Sense app, which we've downloaded from the Apple Store. And we also have a version of this available for Android. So on this screen, we select which sensors we want to display on the screen. So we just pick a few here, click save. And now we should start seeing some data coming in from the device. Okay, so let's now take a closer look at some of the components on the RSL10 Sense Dev Kit. First up, we have the RSL10 system and package itself. We then have a range of sensors from Bosch. First up, we have the BHI160 accelerometer and gyroscope. We then have the BMM150 magnetometer and then finally we have the BME 680 combined gas sensor, temperature sensor, humidity sensor and pressure sensor. The ambient light sensor is provided by On Semiconductor the NOA1305. We then have from InventSense the digital microphone the INMP522. We then have the components to support the NFC functionality of the device. The NFC connector and the NFC EEPROM, which contains the data to be transferred over NFC. We then have a programmable RGB LED, which shows the status of the device. And if you wish to reprogram the device, you can use the TagConnect connector to connect an external debugger. Okay, so now I thought we'd take a closer look at the mobile app that goes with the RSL10. So if we start off just by resetting the device and starting a discovery by swiping down in the app. We'll see that we've discovered our device. Now if we like we can go into there and start setting up a, a new profile or I've actually set some up in here already. So you can see here I've got one configured for motion. In this profile, I've selected the magnetometer, accelerometer, and gyroscope to be displayed in the app. So we can see those values updating there. And if we like, we can scroll across and see this same data presented in a graph view. Now, if we go back, we can select one of the other profiles I've configured, for example, environment. This selects the temperature pressure and humidity sensors for display in the app. And again, we can see that same data presented as a graph view. And as expected, we're not really seeing much change there. Okay, so I thought I'd show you some of the data updating in real time as we move the device. And right now we can see the accelerometer figures are around zero. And if we shake the device, we should see that those numbers increase. 
and we can see now they've returned back to zero and we can see that same data as a graph view if we like. Thanks for joining for this unboxing. Hopefully I've shown you how the RSL10 sensor development kit from On Semiconductor is a great way to get started collecting some sensor data and understanding how you might want to build your next IoT product using Bluetooth Flow Energy. Look out for some more unboxing videos coming from DesignSpark very soon.